Hello YouTube, HPZ here today and what you've got in front of you is one of the first consoles sent to me by uh, a shop in, uh, in South Africa that wants me to fix a couple of their uh, broken game consoles. It's a Wii. Uh, on the email she said that uh, it basically has a problem where it doesn't want to read all of the discs. So let's open it up and uh, I think she also mentioned it does make funny noises and things when you load discs. I see that someone else has been in here before. You can see because the feet are actually moved away from the screws. Uh, so I'm probably not the first one working on it. Can't focus at that distance. Come on. Yep, focus on the test game. There we go. As you can see, my camera doesn't like uh, white colors for some reason. Maybe it's a bit racist, I don't know. But let's open it up and have a look. Luckily, the Wii's are cheap and easy to fix. Uh, I just saw in my other videos, you literally pick up the used consoles for nothing. But I also still have some brand new drives in stock from other repairs uh, where we actually ordered new drives from China, paid a fortune. I, th I think back then it was like 650 a drive and on good conscience I just can't charge people that anymore. Ah, oh, there's even screws missing <laughs> on top. Oh well. I might have to cut the video just now and just go and find my screwdrivers because uh, <laughs> all of them decided to disappear. Normally you'll keep those in. But yeah. Okay, be right back. Let me go fetch a screwdriver. Alright, back again. It's Get rid of these. I see that the hinges are actually snapped on this as well. Someone snapped off the two hinges. Oh crap. I'm starting to see cockroach debris. Roaches. Can't stand the smell and can't stand the sight of roaches on consoles. They pee everywhere on the console and just kill everything. If you're going to do this repair yourself, you are going to need a trimming screwdriver. Luckily, it's not the 90s anymore, and you can pick these up at just about any electrical shop that has one of those multi plug things that has like 20 or 30 plugs in one. your culprit. Okay, uh, right, so I, I can already see what's wrong here. And the number of times that this actually happens, I'm zooming in here quite closer and uh, I'm sure some of you can tell um, this uh, Nintendo Wii comes with uh, 3DS accessories. I'll just send these back to her, she'll probably be very surprised in the Brucey bonus that she's going to get back because that means she can probably sell them. The Wii really has a very robust uh, DVD drive. It's probably more so than any other DVD based console. These things, you have to do a lot to make them fail. and. Uh, Yes, uh, I guess if you stick a Ben 10 
cartridge. If you take that and you stick it in and the pin, and then there's also like crease in here. Oof. Okay, uh, I guess that that will uh, kill the machine in some form or respect. Eventually, let's just uh, try and get rid of that piece quickly. Uh, I'm gonna need something a bit stronger than contact cleaner. PCC cleaner should do it. This is like toffee or something. Yeah. And uh, fortunately. These consoles, it takes some serious doing to kill them. I'm surprised that whoever opened this console before didn't notice it. Or maybe they just didn't have the right screwdriver to open the system. Um, that happens too. And for this sort of repair, I don't charge people. This, this is free. Um, the whole point of me doing repairs is this is my hobby and I, I want to get these machines back up and running. Oh, okay, I, I see what's causing the sticky stuff. It, it's a lollipop on the side there. Okay, and I am touching that with my hands. So let's get a set of tweezers. I'm not going to use my nice bamboo tweezers. Open these up and I just find crud. <laughs> There's a slice of rust on the side there. Is a spring uh, probably missing from that part there? I'll just put it back on just now. It's fairly easy enough. DVD ROM probably just went, can't move that. Is there anything else in there? That's, fair. That's a lot better. Still sticky residue on there. Let's try a little bit. Uh, what works well on sticky stuff is a bit like the fluid should do it. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah. Kids and consoles, huh? Uh, in the old days, uh, VHSs used to have the exact same thing. You used to like, open them up and find all sorts of treasures. <laughs> Seeing as the kids are just go, hey, you put stuff in there. Can I play this suite that I got two years ago? What does that look like? Right, uh, let's move this, turn this around, put that spring back in. see one of these Wii's uh, on eBay or anything of the sort, uh, please pick them up. I promise you you'll open it up and it's sweet stuck inside or tears freebies. <laughs> it's uh, absolutely awesome what you find in these things. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a sacrificial disc. I'm not going to use a game to test with. But I'm just going to use a disc that I know doesn't have any major scratches on just to see when the disc spins up, does it leave any scratches behind. Um, I've had several Wii consoles where there's something so small you can't see it's still stuck inside. And it, it literally just chews up discs left, right and center and people start wondering why.
Okay, now I just want you to look at the disc section of the machine. Wait for that to focus. There you go. And we're just going to switch it on. No power. Now, that, that could be a couple of things that causes that sort of effect. Um, oh, there we go, it's just not plugged. I've got a loose connection, excuse that. Okay, when you start up a Wii and there's no disc inside, or the, there was a disc inside, it's been removed, the disc. Or, the mechanism automatically reseats itself. So what you want here is the, which is the low pitch noise meaning it's pulling in, and then oh sorry, the high pitch noise means it's pulling in, and it means it's pulling out again. It, it always does that to reseat the system. Now while it's doing that, just give it a quick listen, and you just so there's no in stops in between. If it's like tee -doo, tee -doo, and, and basically the pitch increases and decreases, it means that the gears are worn on the system and those need replacing. So. Stick a disc in, that went in smoothly. It's starting to spin, meaning the laser's okay. And it fails reading because that's not an original disc. It's a little bit sticky, I, I wouldn't call that perfect, but considering what this machine has been through, I think it's pretty darn good. And the disc fails to read, of course. Okay, let's. I'm just going to power this back on on the, the screen there. And uh, first things first, check the back. No circle scratches on there. I got all of the debris out. Lots of free stuff in there. <laughs> and uh, let me plug it into the big screen quickly, get the other camera, and I'll show you what it does. Right, and welcome to the other camera. As you can see, I've got the, the machine day. I've already. Uh, calibrated the controller or much paired the controller with the machine and uh, I'm using a game that I know the world will be better off without I just want you to listen at the sounds this machine makes ah this one needs an update okay uh, let's do a system update while we're busy. Uh, why not? Alright, I'm going to turn the volume down. Just have a listen. I'm, I'm bringing this in close, as close as possible. That's what our Alfie DVD drive sounds like. There's no kicking, there's no snapping. That's basically what you need to listen for. It's a nice healthy sound. If it's reading and you can see the laser moving backwards or forwards, you do expect a little click. But when it's like that, that means it's perfectly fine. Okay, the system update is completed. Let's listen to it again. Okay, so you can hear it seeking what drive it is, where the drive is, and then starting up, that's exactly what you want to hear. The other thing that you need to look for is FMVs in-game, If do they skip or are they nice and fluent? Does the sound skip? Oh, I cannot find dance stones. DDR Wings Club. 
Okay, and that's enough of that. I don't want to get told that I'm infringing on copyright or anything of the sort, but as you can see, this machine is as healthy and as an ox. Nothing needed to get replaced, and I'm, I'm not charging for this repair. The only thing I'm going to do now is just like four or five times, just insert and remove the disc, make sure that it works properly every single time. It's normal because it's still in the game. Uh, just to get out and put it back in, switch it off, switch it on. Let's insert again. It works. I mean, the amount of times I've seen Wii's with stuff inside it, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and one last time. I mean, if you ever see one of these in the wild and it says, does not read discs, please buy it. <laughs> I mean, 99% of the time, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, and while we're here, I might as well show you this. If you ever have a machine and you want to know if a uh, machine was once chipped or anything of the sort, the easiest way to do it is you go to the Wii message board, go to your calendar, and you can see when last there's been messages on the system. This just thing hasn't played for years. Uh, could be that they just did a system restore on here, but generally you'll just see that there's every time you play a game it actually lists the games. You click on it and if it says uh, any of the Wii launchers or Homebrew channel or anything like that, you know that this machine okay, has been chipped at one stage or another. But you'll normally find with Wii's, especially the ones circulating in South Africa, the only game it's ever played is Wii Sports. People just jumped on the bandwagon and uh, got as many of them as possible. I need to notice that hey, there's no good games for it, and we were only playing Wii Sports. Yeah, that's it's got nothing. It, it's been oh here we go. We played some Tiger Woods, Wii Fit, and Wii Sports. Nonetheless, there we go. Perfectly working. It's HP Zeta. It's all for me today. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.